Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi, my, my name is Erica. And today I'm going to be talking a bit about stuttering and more specifically celebrities who claim they have stuttered in the past and how how that kind of reinforces the super rip trope. Now I know this can kind of be a sensitive topic because there are people that can grow out of a certain impairment and yeah, that's valid. But I do think having such prominent people spreading that narrative and only really that narrative can be problematic. So first off, I want to define what the super rip trope is because when I made a, a poll on my Instagram story to see if people wanted to hear about this, there were some people who did not know what the super rip rope is so I just want to define that real quickly so that people know what I'm talking about so the super rope the super crip trope is basically when a disabled character or a disabled person, if it's in real life, either overcomes their disability or they're like this. Oh, and I want to be careful with saying the word superhero because so the super crip trope is basically the, like I just said they either overcome their impairment or they basically do something amazing and incredible like climbing a mountain or or they do something to like inspire people it's it's very much linked to the concept of inspiration porn and they're two different concepts but there there's a lot of overlap there at least in my opinion other people may see it differently but that is how I see it so if you don't know some notable people who have stuttered in the past or claim they've stuttered in the past and I, I I'm not saying claimed to like be like I don't believe them but I do think there's a difference between being a child and having a stutter and being a stutter because a lot of people like st stuttering is just a phase they go through and I want to be very careful about not not conflating that with people who stutter because stuttering is not something that stutterers can overcome they can mitigate some of the effects but if you are a person who stutters that's just how you talk I know that might be controversial, especially for a lot of speech pathologists, but I just want to say I'm not against speech therapy. I went to speech therapy for 18 years, but I do think at a certain point in the therapy should move from like trying to fix something to helping a, a person live with it. For instance, and now I'm getting into my story a bit, which this video is not about me, but anyway. But for instance, I think it was my junior year of high school when I stopped, when in speech therapy, I stopped using different techniques to, 
to try to get rid of my stutter and instead I would just in- interview random people in my school to try to help me build confidence and be okay with the way I, I talked because at that point in my life that was the best I was going to get and this is the final pr- product of that. But anyway, so some n- notable people who have talked about stuttering in the past. Well, I feel like the one person most people know of is Marilyn Monroe. And that was actually the reason why she would like whisper when she talked was because if she, if she didn't whisper like that, she would stutter. Another person is Ed Sheeran. Who I, d- I did different speech therapies and stuff, which wasn't very successful um, at a young age and got very, very into rap music. And my dad bought me uh, the Marshall Mathers LP when I was nine years old, not knowing what was on it, um, <laughs> and let me listen to it. And I learned every word of it back to front. Um, it helped me get rid of the stutter. So I have a lot of thoughts on a lot of his problematic ways. We'll get into that in another video, maybe, someday. Ed Sheeran has claimed to have started um, Noel Gallagher from, you know, the, the band was o- o- Oasis, which I believe he may still stutter to this day. So I, I don't know if I wanna lump him into this group because if he still stutters, then he still does, so he's not really contributing to that narrative. Another person is um, Steve Harvey, and um, so I'm sorry, I can't think today, and Julia Roberts. So the reason I find this problematic is because a lot of these people, and I'm specifically talking about like Julia Roberts and Ed Sheeran, they st- stuttered when they were young children, and it was a very difficult thing for them. They were, bo- oh, uh, uh, another person is Emily Blunt. And- I have quite a serious stutter when I was a kid, and um, so the idea of doing a voiceover, certainly when I was 11 years old, was was an impossible one. It would it would have seemed so far out of reach and so I hope that that is a testament to how far you can come and how much you can overcome something because um, I'm now doing a movie where you can only rely on my voice. And, and they were like bullied or they struggled to make friends because of their s- speech impairments. But then they either grew out of them or they figured out ways to not stutter. I take issue with this because as someone who obviously I still stutter, I'm pretty sure you who can tell, even even if you cannot hear, he who can still probably see the way my face moves, I'm someone who stutters. But anyway, the, the reason I take issue with that is because very rarely do we actually get to see someone who stutters being successful. And successful not despite their st- stutter, but with their stutter. I'm tired of hearing actors saying, oh, I used to stutter, so I know what it's like, and this is how I, I overcame it. I, I don't want to hear stories about overcoming. I want to hear stories about disabled people being ex- accepted exactly as they are. I, w- I want to see actors with speech impairments on TV, in movies. I want to see people with speech impairments being news anchors. I don't want to see people who've overcome their 
speech impairment, I cannot relate to that. And I think, I think that's the way a lot of things are. Disabled people, not not even just disabled people, but people in general, want to find to see people in the media that they can relate to. They don't want someone. Well, I was like this, but I'm not anymore. Because what if this is just who you are? What if it's not something you can overcome? What if it's not something you even want to overcome? Why is that such a bad thing? And I do want to be clear here that I don't think it's these people's fault because I do realize stuttering can be something people grow out of, but particularly with Ed Sheeran. He has kind of branded himself as somebody who used to stutter, which I think is very harmful. And I think he knows it's very harmful, but he continues. And anyway, mini rant about Ed Sheeran. <laughs> and he also uses the word ripple in a song when he's not physically disabled. So that's another thing. Uh, and he doesn't get called out the way Beyonce and Izzo do because he's not a black woman. But anyway, but it's not these people's fault if that's their story. But I do think it's the media's fault for not allowing anybody else to succeed in Hollywood. Because you could be the best actor, but if you stutter, especially if it's a severe, really noticeable stutter, they are not going to let you act. That, that just is what it is. And it's something we need to change. And that's why I'm making this video. Anyway, thank you for listening to my little rant. Here, I hope maybe you learned something or made you think about something you may not have thought about because I do believe that we shouldn't have to overcome our impairments or our disabilities in order to be celebrated. Like, why can't I just be me and people be okay with that? But anyway, thank you for watching, and if you learned something or if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not already and you would like to see more of my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!